Hello, supercars in seconds here. Today we're with the beautiful 2023 McLaren GT, one of our first 23s. They've added some nice things into the warranty this year that we'll cover in this video. This is flux green. Of course, this was the launch color for the beautiful new Artura, but on the other model, it looks just as great. It has a yellowy tint and then different angles of because it's so metallic across the hood, it's actually quite a dark green, really a beautiful shade. I was able to order it with the flux green calipers. And inside, I'll show you in a minute, we did some uh, additional stuff with MSO, McLaren Special Operations. But let's take a walk through the car and uh, get stuck in. So starting up front here, the all aluminum body is very beautiful. There's a cute, beautiful ridge up the center here that you don't really see in a certain colors. You can obviously see where the air is getting directed around these beautiful big headlights. And the McLaren Speedmark, the little logo here, is the shape of the daytime light. If I hit the little unlock button, You'll see it illuminate in the shape of the McLaren logo. That's throughout all of the McLaren line. They call it the hammerhead line. This front end obviously splits the air. As the name of the splitter suggests, it pushes air underneath and into these volumes to help cool the car down. It'll go right into the brakes through here. There's a little radiator here helping cool the turbo circuit just there. Um, the low temperature radiators are always visible in a McLaren up front. Now towards the rear of the car, these huge big exhaust, big four inch pipes out of each side here, just look nice, look aggressive on the car. Uh, the GT image is, um, you're not thinking of a big Grand Tour that was gonna go across the continent, it's still a McLaren. You just exactly nine seconds to 125 miles an hour, so very, very impressive. On the key itself, this one is still wrapped up because it has the flux screen on the rear of it, but you'll see a little image of the car. So. Each wheel here on this image is a bump. So this rear wheel, if I push and hold it for about three seconds, it will pop the big rear trunk up. You may notice, if I bring the camera a little closer, you may notice a little vent here, just, just here coming in. That's some air that comes through the turbo coolers. The turbochargers obviously are down there on the car, but they come, some of the air goes through here, through a tube, back to the turbocharger so they can control the speed of it going into the turbo more effectively. But they steal some of that air, send it through here into this little rubber channel. I don't know if you can see that there, there it is. And that blows on the back of the badge to keep it cool for when you're opening and closing the trunk. A pretty fascinating design. The trunk itself, a very large volume. It's over six feet to that, that little bar there. And this will unattach and it's got a little zipper so you can put things inside but it will stretch and you can move this up to here and then take it all the way to the front bars up there. My big 10 inch golf staff bag does fit in the bag because of course the screen's not here. The level of the glass is up there. So it's rather high inside the car. To close it back down, uh, all forged carbon, of course, you can see this beautiful finish on the forged carbon and then just our alloy caps for oil this side and coolant on this side. To close it back down, I'm just gonna push the little, uh, little mark up here. There it goes. So got it all opened up now. So we've got everything open. Um, both doors are up. The trunk is open on the front here. And look at this, look at the quality of here. They're sucking in air, of course, for air conditioning and so on. Um, really beautifully made. Look how thick that is. Uh, very impressive. This fender is all full of padding, again, to keep the sound of the road from coming into the cabin. An LT McLaren would be the opposite. <laughs> Everything would be stripped out, so that's rather nice. There's our LED daytime ring lights. And again, very much that sort of hammerhead shark look to the car from the front. To close it down, they've actually made this badge very rigid because it's aluminum. You use the back of your hand and click, click. There we go, and now that now the trunk is closed down. Color's beautiful, isn't it? Walking around. The door stays very tight to the car. It's only out about 22 inches, so you can get in and out of a McLaren in a much smaller space than you might think so. Again, a big area. Now you're starting to see how big that area is in the back. I'll close it back down. Again, all forged carbon up here. Look. That whole big door is almost six feet long and, and uh, very light because of the forged carbon. Let's close it down. And here, these lovely exhausts, just one more time. So climbing inside GT, it's just easy that the roof line's nice and high, the seat's very low in the car. Just close it down, very solid thump to it. Car starts to wake up. Just a nice place to be. The quality of it, the seat, look how soft this is. It's beautiful, the quilting and everything is excellent. 
We ordered this one with the MSO, McLaren Special Operations Stitching, because they don't offer it in flux screen. We were able to order it on this car, and it really matches the exterior paint beautifully. A nice finish. All right, so let's take it down into old Batman's corner here. It all sounds really good. So they removed, at the end of 2021, they removed the baffles in the exhaust. So you used to have to push a button um, down here, the active button in sport and track, it would open baffles. They removed them. So it's actually one of the better sounding McLarens these days. Um, so we're in active. I'm gonna just stomp the brake, uh, push launch. The car says, launch mode initiated, awaiting full throttle. Boost building, boost ready, and go. Ah! Boy, that four liter just pushes on you hard. Amazingly flat. I'm not sure where the word GT came from. Let's have a look here. Now she does have the 720 rotors, so 390 mil front, 380 mil rear. Let's uh, test them out, full emergency stop. Oh, <laughs> got the tripod and everything else. Wow, impressive. So I've got to set in track mode suspension, track mode engine. Coming down at a speed that says, uh, speed says J A I L. Oh, okay, I better slow down a bit. <laughs> Try second gear, have a hard right hander. Oh. Boy, the way the turbocharger suddenly come to life. In a 720, the turbos come in at like three and a half thousand. This car is more like 5,000. Then the vehicle just explodes. It actually makes it very um, dramatic when those turbos come in. Amazing pressure. The car, it does, it is again the 720 motor, the four liter twin turbo V8 flat plane crank. And the turbochargers have twin impellers. So there's a small impeller on the front, a larger impeller on the rear. The front impeller spins at 360,000 RPM, making the car, as I mentioned, very explosive when those turbos come on boost. These newer carbon fiber frames in the McLarens are just amazing. There's a lot of room in the car. I mean, I can move my elbows, you know, I can move around in the vehicle. Um, the seating in GT is very impressive. Uh, it holds my shoulders a little bit. Um, not a lot of support here until you start to lean on the car. Then you feel it there. So really a nice design seat. Uh, the upholstery itself is a very soft leather. This is the Lux spec. So it gets a leather called Bridge of Weir uh, from the English-Scottish border. And it has more grain to it. I can see it in the passenger seat, a nice bit of grain in the leather. A quality car that is impressive. McLaren gets a bad rap sometimes. Uh, this car has been a real success for them. Uh, the leasing program is amazing on these cars. A residual that's very, very high. So it, you know, you're paying for just a small percentage of the car over 36 months. One addition I mentioned to the warranty, uh, now three years uh, included servicing. This, the maintenance is covered by McLaren on your new McLaren. So that's rather nice. A nice addition to again just to give you some confidence that they're taking quality to another level and it's really been uh, a nice thing for the brand this is the 720 steering wheel i've got the 720 brakes the 720 motor on a lower tune i've got an awful lot of like mclaren's greatest hits in this beautiful sports car and i think that's the name of the, this is a supercar this is uh, the gt name is yes it's more comfortable but you stoke this thing up and she's a handful Moving down to the main uh, center screen here, the infotainment screen, it's all controlled by touch screen. I have some shortcuts around the bottom, sort of Bluetooth music and navigation and so on, uh, telephone and air conditioning. However, on the screen itself, I've got the little picture of the air conditioning. I'll touch that and it opens up the air conditioning screen. I've got it set to blow as hell on this helmet, look. <laughs> Still a McLaren. And touching any of these bars, gosh, you feel that straight away, blowing up the fan speed. And you can adjust it, larger fan, smaller fan, obviously. Um, heated seat touch it for maximum heat passenger low heat and then off again there i'm going to go back to the main home screen by pushing this image if you notice that image is a plan view of the mclaren factory home not our home where the car was made is home so the bottom half would be the lake the top half is the main building itself i'm going to push this in and let go it goes back to our main screen ambience is something i wanted to touch on if you look down here we've got our you can see the red light glowing in there it's down by my feet as well my shoes have gone white up red on the edges there 
But all, and something else to mention while I'm doing this, this little slot either side is for your cell phone. Your cell phone slots down in here rather well. Cup holder there and a, another cup holder back here for the driver. Your main mode selectors down here, pushing active, switches everything on, of course. Left one, handling, suspension, comfort, sport and track. The right one, P, powertrain, comfort, sport and track. What's nice in a McLaren, again, we've mentioned before, but I can have a soft ride and an aggressive engine. That's kind of cool. With launch control, it gives us a total of 10 modes in the car. On the ambient lighting, it's rather nice. I'll just go through the different colors that we have here on the ambience. It's glowing through a material on the dashboard that's called Hidden Till Lit. The Hidden Till Lit is a material that doesn't uh, uh, show in the daytime. But if I just wash around it, look, it looks like it's metal. Um, but it's actually a, a polymer that's in laser engraved on the back. It's also up on my door. Can you see it up here? little dots up here as well so in the daytime when the lights are off it looks like metal but in the night time the ambient lighting shines right through well thanks for watching i appreciate you subscribing to the channel if you don't mind this is really a uh i'm having fun making these videos again i had a bit of a break we didn't have any cars for a long long time but we're starting to get some cars again like this beautiful 2023 gt i'll catch up with you on the next video thank you for watching